14 million people suffer from arthritis in the knee. A new numbers show one out of 12 adults over the age of 25 will have a knee replacement at some point in their lifetime. But as our health reporter Haley Hernandez tells us, one new treatment could delay a replacement and take away some of the pain. New numbers show that one out of 12 adults over the age of 25 will have knee replacement sometime during their lifetime. But now a new treatment may delay a replacement and take the pain away. Al Perez has been teeing up and teeing off for more than half his life, but his game started to suffer. Walking became difficult because I get some swelling and pain. Al had his right knee replaced eight years ago and he didn't want a repeat procedure on his left. I have some uh, arthritis in that, in that knee, osteoarthritis, and I wanted to uh, avoid at all costs another knee replacement. He found orthopedic surgeon Jason Dragoo at the Stedman Hawkins Clinic. Dragoo was part of a team that made stem cell history. It set off this revolution worldwide of getting stem cells from fat. And now he's using those stem cells to ease his patient's knee pain. And Mother Nature put in this piece of fat that's in her knee. It's called the fat pad. And we looked at the fat pad and it contains a very high number of stem cells. During surgery, the doctor harvests the stem cells from the fat pad. We process them, them in the operating room and then they give them back to patients during the same surgical procedures. The best candidate is someone with moderate to middle stage arthritis. Initial studies show that the treatment reduces pain and inflammation. Now they are looking to see if the cartilage regrows. It worked for Al. He's four years post-surgery and his pain is gone. Within three, four days, I was... Uh, walking with with barely a lump I was good I, I can walk uh, 18 holes from harvesting the cells to implant the procedure takes about 20 minutes and that's it right now the treatment is being performed at the Stedman Hawkins Clinic in Denver as well as Cedar Sinai at the Ohio State University I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez KPRC Channel 2 News today